the prisoner of Yahweh Shai. That's right. Hey, the, you know what? When you get locked up in prison, you don't you don't get a menu, man. Okay, <laughs> the CEO don't bring you a menu talking about you can have uh, eggs Benedict or uh, scrambled eggs That's or right. a Western waffle and shit grits. That's you right. know, Canadian bacon, beef, sausage and shit like that, man. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You don't get no menu. Tapioca. You feel like having some tapioca. You tell yeah. the CEO, I, I like some tapioca pudding, man. Yeah. Cause look, you know what? I'm, I'm in, I, I got a taste for some tiramisu. I like that. <laughs> With a little bit of wine, please. Yeah, you're in prison, man. You get what they make your ass, man. Eat what they take. Well, you, well, you don't wonder what you're going to get. They're going to put it right in front of you and you eat it, man. That's right. Okay? That's right. That's right. Or else you go hungry, like the brother said. Right, so we're prison. So we're prisoners of the with the the uh, the, the with the grunts of the Most High, man. That's, right. that's what the mo- that's who the Most High is looking for, the grunts, man. Yeah. And Lahab, you wasn't no grunt, man. Okay, you was a chump, man. All you guys that fell off, you wasn't grunts of the Most High, and the Most High is looking for grunts, man. Yeah, you eat what's on the menu, man. And you go to sleep when they tell you to go to sleep. You get up when they tell you to get up, man. You don't do you don't do your own thing. Yeah. Yeah. It said endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh. So so all the scene in the movie uh, Glory, uh they had this guy uh uh not Denzel, the other guy. The Freeman, other Freeman. Freeman. They had, remember, they had him holding posts, yeah. and it was raining out there, and he stood at attention. He yeah. was marching and all that, man. Yeah. That's how you got to be, man. Which you, that don't that don't apply to you, uh, 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 Ice Queen, because you're a weak nigga. You're a big nigga, but you're a weak nigga. You're big. You're, on, you're big on the outside, but you're small on the inside, yeah. man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you weak. But, but you got butter. You got fucking Kool Aid. Uh, in, in your fucking heart yeah, running through your fucking veins, yeah. man. Big, big, swelled up nigga like that. And there's all, but there's always them guys. Yeah, See them. Well, big. those are the niggas that are cry when shit goes wrong. Yeah. This nigga got muscles on top of muscles. Yeah. Then shit goes wrong, and you trying to figure out how to get out of this shit. And this nigga breaks down and start crying, man. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you, you looking at this nigga like, what the fuck? And you slapping in the back of his fucking knockwurst, man. The yeah. so fuck, man, get your fucking ass in order and shit. Yeah. I want my mommy. That's that's you. <laughs> you and shit that's, pops that's, up. That's that's you, the butter muffin man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the Fourteenth Street Ice Queen, Ice Fairy yeah. man. You the type of motherfucker that cry for your mama. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, and we it. getting all over you because hey, look, hey, if we're saying anything wrong, may the Most High deal with us. Well, guess what? I ain't got no fear that the most I gonna deal with me because I said something about you. Because yeah. you're not the Lord is not working with you, man. And your being your buddy, your uh, pill head nigga, oh, yeah, the yeah, terror, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Lord <laughs> damn sure ain't working with you. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That Tara Masu, nigga. Tara Masu. <laughs> anyway, I got this scripture right here, right? This is a uh, Luke, Luke twelve. Make sure I got the right place. Luke twelve and uh Okay, uh, 19. And I will say to my soul, this is a man that, you know, got all these riches and shit, got all these goodies. Like like you, uh, Johanna, you know, you made that deal. I don't know if they gave you 50 million. I don't know if they gave you 40 million, but they gave you some money, man. They gave you enough. They threw enough money in your face to make you sell your soul to the devil. Okay, just like Comfy did. Okay. So this is your attitude. 19 verse, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou has much goods. That's what you're saying, uh, uh, General Johanna, because you ain't out there no more, man, because you don't believe in the most, because you sold your soul. You said you said in your mind you ain't going to make it. I got $50 million. I might as well live my life like a, like a fucking prince, man, you know? And then when the most I get me, he get me. And then your attitude is, well, I'll die and I'll come back in a reincarnation in the kingdom of heaven. That's your attitude, man. Yeah, yeah. But your attitude now is I'm going to live my life, man. Yeah. And I'm going to deceive these guys that are under me, man. That's right. That's right. B- right. Like, like the elder said, blessed is he to have part in the first res- resurrection, man. And I will say to my soul, soul, 
Thou has much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease. There goes that word ease again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got to do a word search on the word ease. Yeah, yeah. Eat, drink, and be merry. 20. But the Most High said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Wow. Then who shall... Then who shall those things be which thou has provided? Okay? So the most I can give you a heart attack, man. Yeah. Most I can give you a stroke. Most I can make you get hit, struck by lightning. You go out there to, you might be going out there to fucking Italy in a fucking lead jet, and the lead, lead jet blows up, man. You can't get, you can't get away from the, the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Oh. Um, yeah, we got one more, and then we're going to close it. Yeah, this backs you up because you said you do a word search on ease. Uh, this is what Job said. It says, um, I was at ease when Job had all that riches and the money and whatnot. But he have broken me asunder. <laughs> Talking about the most high. He have also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. And so that's hey, those of us that's coming in the truth, coming in the faith, that's what the Lord is pretty much doing to us, taking us by the neck and shaking us to pieces <laughs> and set us up for his mark. You know? Hey, because we're like the arrows, there's a scripture where it now speaks. Look up that word mark. See yeah. That, 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 uh, what mark? Yeah, con, con. Yep, mark. The word there in the for the the Hebrew word for mark is Matara, Matara, and it says uh, a god, ward, oh, a god, ward, prison, mark, target. So, so we're a target of the Lord, you know, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai. We're his, we're a target. Oh, the custody Most High got us in His sight, Con. in His sight, and the, guess what? The Most I got you guys in His sight. Wow, man. Okay. That's, that's heavy, man. What Job so said. All that shit you're doing, you sat down, you had that meeting with the, with, with, with the malumin, illuminated ones, and they opened up that suitcase or, or wrote you a check or they put the money in your fucking bank account or whatever they did, man. They made you, they gave you an offer that you wasn't going to refuse, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this, oh, man. So now you're going to pay. Yep. Now, now Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai going to get you. Okay. Yeah, hey, bro. And, and what and what? Who? What's going to happen in 2014, man? Hell, I believe the, mo, the, the this this thing is going to be ratcheted up another notch or Con. three. Con. Hey, hey, brothers, you you want to read that Job 12? I mean, 16 started 12 because that pretty much Job is describing us. You know, the, the 14 verse he breaketh me with with breach upon breach. He runneth upon me like a giant. <laughs> Then the 15th verse, I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin. That's these garments. You know, that's these garments. But you've got these niggas out there. Yeah, Nate talking about calling us bumites. Well, this is what Job said. I made Job a bum. Yeah, he made him a bum. To see where his face right, was at, brother. man. That's right, brother. That's right. All right? That's right. Yeah, that's pretty much. Hey, when you brothers get a chance, just read Job 16, man. I'm just glancing over it. Hey, Job, and Job is a perfect example of uh, of what an Israelite, you know, at one time Job was prosperous, then the Lord uh, chastised him, then the Lord made him prosperous again. So that represents us, man. We we represent Job. Those of us. Job is a picture of us, Israel. Yeah, the righteous Israel. ones. And Job the ones was. that endure to the end. That's right. Job endured to the end. Right. He endured that's to the a, end. A, char uh, a characteristic of a righteous man. Job. Right. Job. Was a righteous man. Yep. And so we got to be like Job. And he had you know? a wife. His wife came against him. Yep. Yep. His, you know? Most I killed the Satan killed all his children. Kill, killed and all his children. And then his wife was there. Him and his wife. He had the boils on him. Yep. And boils are painful, man. Kind, and kind. his wife basically said, "Man, that, that basically the hell with the Most High. The hell with the Most High. Yep. You know. Yep. He had infirmities, which us we going through physical them boils and who who the hell else knows whatever else was going on with Job. You know, us, man, we got infirmities, brother. We be feeling like we want to drop dead sometimes. But the Spirit of the Lord keep us going. So it's of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed. And you guys will say, well, yeah, that's happening to y'all because y'all ain't right. But, that, but that's what Wait a wicked a minute, but nigga Job would say. Was, but Job, Job was right. 
Yeah. Yeah, how was was white, right? And he got whipped and he got hung up on the cross, yeah, that's man. Right. That's right. So so what the hell are you talking about, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. You know? Hey, but anyway, uh with that we're gonna close and we're gonna say shalom. Yes.